guys you know how much i hate talking about drama but we have to discuss mad black atheists today they all start their videos off like that so you clicked on this video that means you probably heard of the man known as mad black atheist if not i feel you in mad black atheist or mba for short is a no sense real talking guy who keeps it real he covers all sorts of topics from anime to social justice his main style is in your face brutal with no filter but if you're an anime fanboy or a crybaby snowflake then you may want to not be a fan of this type of guy he gets flagged and trolled all day long by losers and haters but it is what it is Alright, that's basically what NBA and his fans think of him, but in reality, the outside world sees him as an old, unironic, low iq homophobe, sexist, racist, and in general, a delusional person. Right, so the main objective of this video is to split everything wrong with NBA into different segments. I don't advise you skip a section due to the fact each of them kind of work hand in hand together. But if you find a part boring in the video, just feel free to look at the description and skip to a different segment. That being said, we're going to start off how NBA loves playing the victim card. I'm sure we've all seen the video where NBA practically disrespected Attica after he died. Believe it or not, he did this intentionally. The old man knew exactly what he was getting himself into. <laughs> I got these dudes so pissed off, man. I got about 700 dislikes. <laughs> How to go viral and not give a shit. <laughs> hey, and for all you people coming to my channel disliking, telling me to get a job, I own a business. I'm standing out in front of my four bedroom house right now. I got money already. <laughs> I do this as a hobby. <laughs> Y'all boost get back, you piece of shit. You're oh my god, man. They... I got him so pissed off, man. You see how the fucking likes. <laughs> oh my god. Go mind your business, boy. And one dude was like, oh, you destroyed your channel. <laughs> they all listen here's the funny part they all think that this channel matters to me they so sad what? it's got what? it's got 2,000 dislikes damn they showing out today now that's what I call awesome <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I have broken a wreck. I have never gotten that many dislikes before in my life. <laughs> I think that <laughs> they mad as hell, y'all. <laughs> hey, you know what, though, guys. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna really piss them off. <laughs> I'm gonna really make them mad. You made it to the top! <laughs> Man. <laughs> However, after two days after the video, he apologized, owned up, and admitted he's been basically acting like a child for the majority of his time on YouTube. But guess what? The idiot decided to attack everyone that criticized him for what he said about Etika before he apologized. He literally took back his apology and said this. He on the internet calling me scum? You know what? Damn right I'm scum. Damn right. But you're even worse than scum. Because this shit's over with and people like you are still keeping it going. So you're even worse than scum. This is exactly why I should have never apologized. Because you fools don't know how to let shit go. That's fine. Um, I don't even know your name, little gay dude. You are exactly what men shouldn't be. You are the epitome of what men should not be. You look like a fruitcake. The chances of you having a girlfriend are minus a thousand. You don't even know me and you gonna make a video calling me scum? Go get a real job, bitch maid. 
This is exactly why I don't like little punk ass white boys like you. Holy fucking shit, I wish I could meet you. I would literally slap those glasses off your face. I would hit you so hard, the lenses would be embedded in your face. You deep, I'm so sick and so tired of these little punk ass dudes talking shit to me, man. I really am. I just want to meet these people in person so I can absolutely just stomp the fuck out of them. I think we can all conclude NBA is a pretty pathetic person based off a few of the many clips I showed. He's played the victim card on a plethora of occasions to the point where I can make a separate video for it. But moving on to the next topic, we're going to talk about how big of a hypocrite NBA is. So NBA is pretty much known for calling kids broke, fanoics, and most importantly, emotional, right? But it's kind of weird because every time he streams, if you say one bad thing about him or you say something that is opposing his mindset, you get automatically banned and removed from the channel. The man is so emotional to the point where he's resorted to banning anything that has to do with the Etika situation, whether it's something agreeing with him, whether it's something disagreeing with him, he will ban you. He doesn't care. He's emotional. He's sad. He's just sad. On top of that, in his mind, he lives in a false delusion or false world where he claims, quote unquote, claims he doesn't care about views. But you know, it's kind of funny because he's been caught in uh, the black sector of YouTube literally clout chasing other YouTubers claiming he's jealous of bigger YouTubers for views and attention. Is, there was no legitimate beat. It was the it was the basic shit. Jealousy. Even though my channels were doing good, I couldn't get them up and get them on like I really wanted. My biggest channel had 4,000 subscribers. It's gone. Um, I was surrounded by a bunch of knuckleheads constantly pushing a let's bash tummy train. You notice all them people are gone. That's I, I stand alone now. I was about to tell you. Remember, every one of them damn people. Yep. I never did yep. anything wrong to freak. I think we can agree NBA really does care about views. Plus, in this clip, he pretty much sums up he's a uh, kind of hypocrite. If you want to see more clips of the old man being a hypocrite, you can look at the description and you will be redirected to different videos of him doing so. Now moving on to the next section, damage control. After getting violated in the black sector side of YouTube, NBA got ran out and decided to shift his content towards manipulating a younger, less intelligent audience, the anime community. Now hear me out, I'm not defending the weirdos like Von Dragon or Atheist Gamer, but what NBA does is target idiots like them who are obviously easy to extort with the amount of dirt they openly have in their channel. And it's not even that, he just ends up taking pride in it like it's an accomplishment bringing them down. But when channels that don't have real dirt and an actual fan base like Six Worlds, he'll either ignore it or take in any type of information that's convenient for him and respond in a random segment in his stream. For instance, when Six was attacked for quote unquote being 23 years old, he just took it as a rumor, but in reality, that information isn't even true. But when he does attack channels like Six Worlds, he ends up looking like a simpleton because he doesn't have the necessary skills needed to actually create good content which can counter actual threats. The best he could actually do was insult six by attempting to flame his alternate name get from the six but it didn't really look good on nba because he literally role plays in an online group called the league of darkness he literally thinks uh he's a super villain because he chooses to always be on the opposing side of the majority and when anime kids boost his ego in this chat he is living in this delusion where he always thinks he's in the right speaking of anime kids anytime you back the old man into a corner he instantly has the urge to talk about his business and how he's already successful and asks for the age of the attacker and always has the need to tell them to get out of their mom's house. Mm -mm. What up guys? Man, I'm out here busting it, working my ass off as usual. You know, some of us don't have the luxury of uh, making 18, 19 fucking live streams a day talking shit about people. Some of us have to actually earn our money. You know, I'm doing something that a lot of these broke bums on here don't get to do. Driving around and spend money. Anyways, my wife's over there looking at flowers and I'm over there looking at dude stuff. Tools and stuff, man stuff. Some of you look for noise need to. No, I mean, y'all need to get up in a Home Depot. Start buying y'all some stuff, learn how to be men. People coming to my channel disliking, telling me to get a job. I own a business. I'm standing out in front of my four bedroom house right now. I got money already. <laughs> I do this as a hobby. <laughs> yeah. 
at first I thought he was trolling because there's no way someone can repeat the same thing over and over for every defense. But then I realized NBA is actually genuinely handicapped. He's so insecure to the point where every time he vlogs, he always finds a way to talk about his job, his business, or tries his best to show his cars. I probably left out some more info about this guy, but I honestly don't care enough to keep going anymore. So to conclude this video, Mad Black Atheist, you are the quintessential. Why is it that black men or black males, because not all of them are men, spend so much time being so jealous and hateful? Jealousy.